In the energy quadrant, even with crude up over 2%, you still have to talk about natural gas, down over 3% on the lows today, pulling back after yesterday's huge move, up 13% yesterday, actually over 13%. When you get a move like that, a gap up, a continued run, a close near the high, you expect a little bit of a pullback. We're still up on the week, well up on the week for natural gas, but you're never seeing any one thing when you're talking about a weather-based commodity like natural gas tends to be. Yes, we're getting a little blast of unseasonably cold weather, but that can't possibly be enough. Here in the Chicagoland area, over the next 10 days, we're gonna be in the mid-teens, both on the high and the low, but AccuWeather keeps bumping up the possibility of a polar vortex event. Now, every time I mention the polar vortex, everybody thinks it's either a climate change confirmer or a climate change denier story, but it's neither. The polar vortex is a bubble of cold air that sits above both the northern Arctic Circle and Antarctica. Antarctica doesn't apply here, but the northern Arctic, you see a break of that when there's a subsequent warming of the weather quickly and a, a pretty aggressive warming above the polar vortex, weakens it, releases that cold air down, jet stream picks it up, and not only pushes that unseasonably cold weather down through the states, but holds it there, especially in the northern Midwestern states and the Northeast. That's where that bump, that additional bump, that 13%, rather than just a four or 5% move is coming from. And the move we saw yesterday was not just that, it was short covering as well, because the seasonality of natural gas over the last 19 years has natural gas prices falling from January through to about the middle of February. So there were seasonal shorts in place that covered yesterday, getting a little bit of profit taking today. We're not seeing any sort of easing as again, AccuWeather is slowly bumping up the possibility of that polar vortex event. It is not guaranteed right now, but certainly with a move like yesterday, some of that was short covering based on those probabilities. And then lastly, this is a very important week for natural gas inventories, which come are back to the normal day on Thursday. Currently we sit 467 billion cubic feet above the five-year average. I'm sorry, below the five-year average for inventories. That's an important distinction, distinction, not above, but below. And this time last year, we were 207 billion cubic feet higher than we are right now. So inventories are low, potential polar vortex, spiking prices, profit taking today, taking us down over 3% in natural gas futures on the lows.